Carl Semesco. Coach, if you want to start with an opening comment, and then we will take questions from the media here and on Zoom. Okay. Well, we're excited to be here. Uh, we know we have a, a great challenge ahead of us because we play a great team in Virginia Tech. Um, but we're preparing, and we're hoping to make this a great game. Take questions from the media in person. If you have a question, raise your hand, please. We'll start in the front row. Hi, Aaron McFarling with the Roanoke Times in Virginia. Coach, um, the, uh, Kenny mentioned that he's known you for a while, and, and you have a strong analytics uh, proclivities, I guess. And, and your player said if they take a mid-range jumper, they'll probably be sitting on the bench next to you. Um, how much do, do analytics play into your strategy and your, uh, your team's style of play? Well, uh, probably a great deal, although we were doing this well before anything was called analytics. We just tried to make the most efficient shots and make the most out of every possession. And uh, it seems the game has kind of progressed and become more similar to the style that we've been playing for a long time. But uh, definitely, I think it's smart to look at numbers and find out the most effective strategies in different situations. And then you also have to fit what works best for your team and, and factor that in as well. Have you, have you played anyone this year that prepared you well to uh, combat Kitley's talent? Well, I mean, we played, uh, you know, some BCS schools. We played at LSU. We played uh, against Michigan State, and we were able to win both those games. But Kitley's an exceptional talent. I, we're not expecting to shut her out. We're just trying to make her a little less efficient. Uh, hopefully, she has to make tough shots rather than giving her easy shots. Uh, but you know they're extraordinarily well coached. Uh, uh, he has done a fantastic job at Virginia Tech, and you know they are they run a very modern system, and they're very good at running it. Uh, so uh, should be a lot of fun. Should be a, gr a great competition. We'll stay in the middle on the left side. Uh, Gabe Ibrahim from Herb Stats, Coach. Uh, I just want to know what the general like preparation process is for the tournament versus even the conference tournament or the regular season. Like, are you watching more film or are you practicing more? Or how, how does it differ just from your normal procedures? Well, it's actually pretty similar. Like, we we try to prepare for every opponent in every game the same way, so that uh, it's not a new thing once you get to the NCAA tournament, and then you're trying to uh, do a lot of things that you haven't done all year. So we, we, against every opponent, we watch a lot of film, we break things down, and, and we go in with a game plan, and uh, we try to be successful executing that game plan. And, and we've done that for every game, and we're trying to do the same thing against Virginia Tech. We'll go to Christy in the back of the room middle. Christy Winter Scott, ESPN. First of all, hi. hi. We were colleagues here at Maryland. So yes, we were. <laughs> as assistant coaches. Um, with the way... Virginia Tech plays, and they have taken the most threes in the ACC. But Kenny Brooks said they've taken 300 more threes than, than we have. What is it like playing a team that kind of mirrors the high volume attempts from beyond the arc? Well, I, it's not the volume that I would mind so much. It's uh, that they shoot such a good percentage, and they can shoot a good percentage on really you know, pretty difficult shots. I mean, they can go off full speed and somebody goes under a screen and they can back up and knock down a shot with a little bit of contest on them. Uh, they just have, they have really good players. And then obviously when you have Kitley and then you surround them with excellent shooters, uh, coming up with a game plan becomes much more difficult. Uh, but, you know, we're going to have to, you know, we're going to have to maybe force some turnovers or make some things happen. And then, uh, we're going to have to have a really good day offensively, you know, where we're knocking down shots and we're getting good shots on every possession uh, because they're, I mean, they're really good. We understand, you know, they're a top 15 or so team in the country. We'll go to Noah on the right hand side, middle. Um, Noah Trister, Associated Press. Um, you got a couple of your players in here. They seem very motivated by the seating you guys were given. Um, is that something you've tried to sort of? Cultivate? Have you tried to downplay it at all, or is it so it's have nothing to do with you? <laughs> yeah, I have. I haven't even brought it up. Uh, you know, I we're 
We earned our way in here by winning our conference tournament. It looks like uh, if we hadn't have done that, we wouldn't have been part of this. So we're really excited that we get a chance to show what kind of team we have against a really good team. Uh, you know, I have, as for how they pick the teams, I, I don't know who's on the committee. I don't know how many people are on the committee. I know they have a bunch of factors, 14 or something factors that they figure in to put these seeds together. Uh, but I'm not sure anybody knows exactly which one outweighs another one and at which times they use which one. So you're kind of at the mercy of, of this committee. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get to the point where they can just have a uh, algorithm that's good enough that it could pick the best teams and it could seed the tournament. And I think that would be maybe a you know a more fair situation for everybody. But for us, we're here. We get to play. Uh, we get to play a great opponent, and we're excited about it. All right, we'll go to the back left corner with Kareem. Copeland, Washington Post. Um, I just want to ask about Belle. What is the nation about to learn about her for those who maybe haven't seen her um, this year? Well, she's an exceptional talent. Uh, one thing that maybe separates her from some others is her versatility. Uh, she's an exceptional cutter, can play without the ball. She sees things develop before anybody else and uh, reacts faster than anybody else to those situations. She can shoot the three. She can take it to the rim. Uh, she likes uh, she likes the big games. She likes the big moments. So uh, we're really hoping and expecting that she'll have a really really good game tomorrow. Other questions from the media here in attendance or on Zoom. If you are on Zoom and you have a question, please use the raise hand function. All right. Seeing none, we'll let you head back to the locker room and get ready for practice. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. Thank you, Coach. Coach for Coach Weller for I did. one year. Gosh. I did.